do you hate all white people? I don't think it's a fair question. Uh, my edit, the white, my edit, the white man doesn't even come into my attitude. Uh, he, te Mr. Muhammad, teaches us to love our own kind and let the white man take care of himself. For a white man today, sir, after uh, kidnapping millions of black people from Africa, stripping them of all human characteristics and relegating them to the role of chattel or cattle or animals, commodity, merchandise that could be bought and sold at will. Uh, and then a hundred years since the Emancipation Pro Proclamation, using every type of deceptive method to further us into slavery, uh, called second-class citizenship, I think that it would take a whole lot of nerve for white people today to ask Negroes, do they hate them? Okay. In New York, Malcolm X famously visited a police station to denounce the violence. I'm not satisfied with the fact that the police in this downtown area has punched one of our brothers in the mouth, and the brother wasn't breaking any law. He was only selling papers, and it would be dangerous for them to get the impression that we endorse uh, Martin Luther King's philosophy of turn the other cheek. In Harlem, Malcolm X gave full voice to his anger. We are not integrationists, and we believe that you're a fool to try and mix with someone who doesn't love you. Well, that, that doesn't mean that we in any day, any way, condone what those crackers are doing in Birmingham, Alabama. Our people should know that. And it is no accident that as long as the dogs were biting Negro women, Negro babies, and Negro children, Kennedy said nothing. It was only after the Negroes began to strike back. It's pleading. It was, it was then, it was then that Kennedy called in the army. So don't you be fooled by Kennedy. Don't you be fooled by these Uncle Tom Negro preachers. When the dog attacks you, you get that dog, two-legged dog, or four-legged dog. Thank you.